Hello everyone, welcome back to Talent Battle and today we are back with yet another amazing update and a hiring on 24 and 25 batch. This hiring opportunity is especially from Amazon and this is a very good hiring opportunity for all those students, those who are still in the placement preparation process and finding a good company to enter because Amazon is a fan company and it comes in the top IT companies you all know very well. So let us discuss in this video all about the hiring opportunity and how you can apply and get selected for this opportunity. Let's start. So as you can see on my screen, the opportunity is from Amazon and the name of the job is Software Development Engineer 1 and it is Amazon University Talent Acquisition Program. It is under Amazon University Talent Acquisition Program. It means they will be majorly focusing on the university graduates Basically, if you have completed your studies and you, you have less uh, like uh, experiences, then also you can enter in this program. So as you can see the description at Amazon, we hire the best minds in technology to innovate and build on behalf of our customers. The focus we have on our customers is why we are one of the world's most beloved brands. Customer obsession is a part of our company's DNA, right? So let us check out your responsibilities, okay? Because for Amazon, we all know what is Amazon all about. Now, what will be your job responsibilities? Let's check that out. So you have to collaborate with experienced cross-disciplinary Amazonians to conceive, design, and bring innovative products and services to the market. Design and build innovative technologies in large distributed computing environment and help lead fundamental changes in the industry. Create solutions to run predictions on distributed systems with exposure to innovate technologies at incredible scale. Build distributed storage index and query systems. Design and code write solutions starting with broadly defined problems. Work in an agile environment. So these are some basic and key responsibilities. You can take it as everything is related to software development. If you have experience with that, if you have done any internships, then it is very good. If you have not done, then you must have done some projects, some group projects where you have used all of these responsibilities or uh, these skills you must have. Okay. And one more thing, whenever you're applying to any off-campus company, in all the videos, we are mentioning the same thing. You have to alter your resume according to the company needs, right? You have to read each and every responsibility or the preferred skills or the required skills and try to mention the similar skills in your resume. Try to find out those things in you which you have done, which aligns with the company's description, right? Because then only your resume will get shortlisted. Otherwise, your resume will not get shortlisted and you will not get further test emails. So, and one more thing, whenever you're applying to any company, if you don't know how to verify your resume, you can just email us with the subject line resume verification our mentors will get in touch with you. They will have one-on-one -on -one interaction with you and they can make your resume best fit for the company and will also tell you the roadmap on how you can improve your resume or your skill set so that you get selected very well. And this will be a free one-on-one -on -one mentorship session. If you want to connect with us, the links are in the description box. Do check that out. Now, the most important thing, the basic qualifications, what they need. So they need a bachelor's degree or above in computer science, computer engineering, or the related field. So IT students can also take part in the same. So you must have a bachelor's degree. It means you must be from 2024 or 2025 batch. Knowledge of computer science fundamentals, such as object-oriented design, algorithm design, data structures, program solving, and complexity analysis. You must have good hand in these skills. Next, knowledge of programming languages like C, C++, Python, Java, or Perl. So Java or Perl, it's optional. So one language can work, but C, C++, and Python, you must know, right? So you must have good hand with this as well. Now, what are the preferred qualifications? So means if you have these skills, you will be uh, preferred, like you will be hired in the like more easily than the other students. So as you can see, previous technical internships, if you have ever done any kind of internships, so you can mention those. Experience with distributed multi-tiered systems, algorithms, and relational databases. 
it means if you have made any projects with that it is very good to mention those experience in optimization mathematics such as linear programming and non linear optimization effectively articulate technical challenges and solutions adept at a uh, handling ambiguous or undefined problems as well as ability to think abstractly this is a very good thing they have mentioned you must have a being an engineer so you must think abstractly right so this was the opportunity and job locations there are four locations mentioned one is in hyderabad then bangalore chennai and new delhi so these are the four job locations okay and even karnataka like on the main job location it's mentioned karnataka but uh, here you can see in the job details they have mentioned four uh, like big cities so you must be easily like you must be flexible with the rotational shifts or relocation you can apply so now let's check out how to apply it's a very simple form you have to click on the apply now button as soon as you click on the apply now button uh, you have to just log in here okay so let me just log in with my google account or you can create a login id if you don't have most probably you have uh, like amazon login accounts everybody has so i'll just uh, log in with the google okay so up all the updates will come here so yes we'll continue uh, let's uh, set a password for this okay moving ahead it will verify my account okay so this is the simple form so at first there was some contact information some general questions your work history and skills you have to mention this year education let's check out what was in the contact so first name last name email addresses city locations everything next some general questions are you willing to relocate so yes preferred work location so there are four locations as you can see there are more location mumbai is also mentioned bengaluru chennai hyderabad and mumbai there are four locations how did you hear about this role so you will fill amazon career site okay next if amazon career site so you can fill amazon dot jobs next some work history so you can see work history how many years of work experience you have you can click 0 to 2 years which company you can mention your uh, latest skills you can mention your skills but try to mention the same skills as mentioned there this is just a demo purpose i have just uh, put the information uh, it's not original information it is just for your demo you have to click on continue here uh, okay uh, you have to fill yes here so sorry yeah let's continue now comes the education your education level it should be bachelors your school name try to find out your school name if it is not here you can fill other as well and then fill the school name then first major it means your computer science so you will fill computer science so try filling this you will find a uh, computer see you will find some options so fill computer engineering or computer science if you have any second major you can fill that if you have any minor subjects fill that but these are some optional are you currently a student you can fill yes or no uh, when did you graduate so if it's less than one year ago click less than one year ago have you had a relevant non internship professional experience you can fill yes if you haven't done any internship but you have some experience you can fill that next second highest level fill some your class 12th everything and then third highest fill your class 10th okay next click on continue later on then job specific questions there are uh, do you have a bachelor's degree so yes we have which year you will complete your graduation so you will you can fill 24 25 even 26 is in the option more as well but go with these years only next which is your preferred programming language so you have to fill your preferred programming language here so which is your preferred programming language you can fill c c++ python which is your first location preference you can fill any how you there are some options second then third then fourth okay <laughs> do you have any active arrears or backlogs so it must be no have you applied to amazon sg in the past 6 months it will be no then we'll click on continue you have to fill your work eligibility uh, have you previously worked no have you previously been employed no 
are you subject to non competition agreement no do you need any no like no sir no okay no i was never a government employee these are some general questions you can easily answer these questions right next we'll click on continue here you have to upload your resume either you can use linkedin you can upload a file anyhow whichever option you have next is acknowledgement just read everything click on the checkbox click continue some uh, more questions related to equal employment opportunity male female you can fill that next some self identification questions like you have been part of military or you have any military spouse you can fill no 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 here okay or as per your answers whatsoever you have and you have to click on continue at last i have to just upload my resume let me upload a demo resume for you as well so i'll just uh, upload a demo resume here if you have any doubts while filling the form you can just uh, reach to me in the description box or just reach us on our social media handles all the links are in the description box do ask the queries right we are always answer able to all the queries but don't fill any information wrong here okay so the resume is uploaded now so we'll just click on save and continue we'll review all the file and we'll just click on submit application so as well, as soon as we click on the submit application button so it will take some time to reload and you will receive an email yeah i have received one email that i have successfully applied for this job so see in the title also it's written thank you for your application so it's done so that was a simple process and this was all in today's video we have discussed about a very good opportunity from amazon we wish you all the very best for your future upcoming jobs and opportunities if you have any doubts any discussions you want to have related to placement preparation do reach out to us we are always happy to answer all your queries thank you meet you in the next video bye bye